Hello, I'm Dr. Jonathan Hare. I'm working with Professor Hazel Cox at Sussex University. Um, and they use tensors in their scientific research. And we've built this game, this demonstration, with 512 LEDs to help explain and teach the science of tensors. In fact, vectors, matrices, and tensors. So here you can see all the LEDs are lit on this beautiful array. 512 LEDs. So we can use this to help teach about scalars, vectors, matrices, and tensors. Now a scalar is simple. It's a quantity that has magnitude but no direction. So for example, in chemistry and physics, it might be a temperature, three degrees Celsius, for example. A vector is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction. So if you imagine a helicopter taking off, for example, with a certain velocity, we can think of that in terms of maybe x, y, and z components of that velocity. And we can use these three numbers to make a vector. And this information can easily be stored in a computer. So in a computer, for example, a vector is an array that consists of only one column or one row of information. So for example, here, this is an n by one column vector on the top here. And on the bottom, there's a one by n row vector. And we can use the LEDs in our beautiful array to help teach this. So for example, it's very simple, but we've got three LEDs lit here on this picture. This is a one by three row vector. On this picture, we've also got three LEDs lit up, but in a different orientation. So this is actually represents a three by one column vector. Now you can imagine taking vectors and bringing them together to make a matrix or an array of numbers. So a matrix is a series of numbers in a grid. In computing, a matrix is a 2D array that consists of rows and columns. The dimensions of a matrix are written as the number of rows by the number of columns. So in this example, it would be the number of rows M by the number of columns N. And we can show this on the LEDs. So this is three rows by eight columns. So this is a three by eight matrix. And we can extend the idea up into three dimensions to make a tensor. So this, for example, is an array of four by four by four LEDs. So this is a four by four by four tensor. So just to summarize then, the size of a vector matrix or tensor is given by its dimensions. So just to recap, here's an M by one column vector and a one by N row vector. This is an M by N matrix. And here is a tensor. This happens to be a three by two by two tensor. So we've got three rows, two columns, and two in the other direction. And these are often called tubes. So this is a three by two by two tensor. So I'm gonna show you some videos and I want you to see if you can work out what the dimensions of these arrays are. So I'm gonna show a video because if you show a still, it's not nearly as clear. When you're actually in front of the machine, it's very clear because you just move your head. But the video night helps to show you the LEDs that are lit. So what is the dimensions of this array of LEDs? Leave a little pause. Wonder if you can work that out. This happens to be a three by eight matrix. So three rows and eight columns. What about this one? Well, this is, looks very easy, of course. It's only three LEDs, but it's testing your rows and columns, really. What was that? That was a one by three vector. This one, it's quite difficult to photograph, but on the video you can clearly see it's a four by four array. So I've given you the answer, haven't I? But actually it's a bit more interesting than that. So this is a four by four matrix, but because it's part of a 3D array, we could think of it as a tensor in which case it will be a one by four by four tensor. So one row, four columns, and four tubes. And the fast, last one, which is quite complicated, again, if you're there, it's, it's much easier to see what's going on, but I hope the video, you can see what the, uh, which LEDs are on. And I'll give you a minute before giving you the answer to this. So what is the dimension of that array? 
here's the answer. So this is a 8 by 6 by 3 tensor. So thanks very much for watching the video. We've got some more videos in this series, so please do check them out.